Welcome to Insight Hub, the video series dedicated to the world of data and brought to you by Miracles Data Practice. Hello everyone, my name is Chatan and today we'll be going over the real-time threat detection advanced video analytics AI demo. In today's presentation, we'll be going over the problem statement its proposed solution, uh, the solution overview, along with the live demo. And then we'll be going over the technology stack, its architecture flow, and the limitations. So here is a problem statement. Uh, we want to automate the surveillance process in order to minimize effort and maximize efficiency of surveillance team by leveraging existing CCTV infrastructure and, uh, and exploring possible ways to increase efficacy of threat detection. We want to automate the service process and minimize the human effort that is usually required in, in CCTV surveillance. We want to leverage or use the current CCTV infrastructure and explore possible ways to increase the threat de de our detection efficacy. Here is a pro proposed solution. Build an AI-powered video analytics system that is capable of performing real-time threat, real-time video processing to detect threats and suspicious activities. We want to use AI models and, and process these uh, CCTV footages and detect different kinds of threats and suspicious activities. Connect this system to ingest video feed from existing CCTV infrastructure for processing live video. Here we want to connect the system, the existing system, uh, connect our models uh, to the CCTV infrastructure uh, and then process the live video streams into our AI models. Then we want to provide near real-time alerts to surveillance team for necessary, to take necessary actions. Following is the solution overview. Access the live CCTV field through appropriate protocols. Uh, for uh, a, a system has to uh, needs to have access to this live CCTV feed to appropriate protocols. We then extract frames from the video and pass them through an advanced AI engine to detect threats. Then we we broadcast near real time alerts to concerned officials for all the threat detect detected. As our model detects any kind of threats, uh, these will be broadcasted to the concerned officials. Provide a dashboard for business users to visualize the historic analysis and detections carried out by the system in a chronological order along with snapshots of the detected event. Uh, we'll be having a dashboard for the business users where they can where they'll get a chronological view of all the alerts that were detected by the system. This is the basic threat detection overview on the, uh, uh, you can see two images uh, with uh, two different kinds of threat. The, you can see eye detection as well as weapon detection. And as these threats are detected, these uh, the video, the system will capture a screenshot of the video at that time and then send it to the concerned officials. Now we'll be going over the live demo. So this is our uh, demo for the live video analytics. On the left-hand side, you can see the dashboard. Uh, you'll, you'll be seeing all the uh, trigger events. On the right hand side, you can see um, the the video processor that's been uh, going on. It will process the videos and extract images, and our AI uh, AI models would uh, process those images and uh, make predictions on it. So this is our first video that's uh, being played. So it's a module is processing the video as it's being played, extracting frames out of it. So as you can see on the dashboard, the very first alert is the motion alert. As fire was uh, seen in the video, uh, and threats, um, we can see these uh, images that are being shown on the dashboard. Where it's a screenshot of the fire along with the timestamp. And, and it also says that it's a fire alert. 
you can see all those images in a chronological order. So these are all the events that were triggered. And uh, this uh, dashboard has a historical uh, view of all the events. We can see them as they happened uh, in that order. We are also having the screenshot of the video at that time, so they can see, the concert, uh, authorities can see what was going on at that time. In the next video, we'll be looking at uh, weapon detection. So here we can see different alerts being uh, shown on our dashboard as uh, as the video um, as as they were shown on the video. So now we can see like all the various alerts that we triggered: motion alert, uh, gun alert. Um, and all of these uh, are have their timestamp along with it. So we can see at what time uh, these events occurred. And you can also click on the image to have a better view uh, of, of what was going on at that time. You can see a man holding a gun uh, on this one. So we have three different alerts that we are trying to showcase here, motion alert, gun alert and fire alert. And along with these uh, events on the dashboard, we will also be, uh, we are also saving them uh, in a database, in a MongoDB database, uh, so that they can, can be used uh, later on. As well as these alerts, we also have um, SMS and email alerts. So these are the uh, different alerts that we have. Here is a technology stack that we use for our use case following other Python libraries. Um, OpenCV and Azure CV is used for image processing as well as uh, using the image recognition model. Streamlink and RTSP are the libraries that we used uh, to connect to the CCTV as well as any video feed. Flask socket IO is used uh, to connect the backend with our frontend dashboard. Twilio and SMTP are used for sending alerts using SMS as well as email email alerts. We use Azure Cognitive Services for our model building. Socket and Angular are the front-end components that we use for our dashboard building. Here is a high-level architecture of our use case. The very first component being the CCTV feed, which would be ingested into our system using an RTSV protocol. Here, the video would be processed and the images would be uh, extracted from the videos. Then these images would be sent into our AI-enabled video processor to identify if there was uh, any kind of threat or any suspicious activities going on. So for motion, motion detection, we used OpenCV. And to identify threat detection, we used Azure Cognitive Services. After this module, if a model catches any of the suspicious activities or if it identifies any threat, it will send alerts uh, using HTTPS into alert system. And there are three kinds of alerts that would be triggered. Firstly, the dashboard alerts and the email as well as text messages. We are also saving uh, the history of these incidents into a database, MongoDB. All of our backend uh, was developed uh, in Python. So this is the high level architecture of our use case. Following some of the limitations of this particular use case, the predictions are dependent on the video resolution and the camera angle. So the, uh, the resolution of the uh, video has to be uh, of a certain quality as well as the camera angle if the objects are being, uh, can be viewed properly. If the threat object is too small or unrecognizable uh, in the video, then it might not be detected. If the object is too small, the threat detection accuracy is close to 70%. Uh, we would need more data to increase it, as well as a human review is necessary to take 
uh, necessary actions. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Thank you for watching a video on Inside Hub, the video series brought to you by Miracles Data Practice. For more videos, please visit miraclesoft.com/insighthub.